whatever the weather, convertibles are much more interesting than the hardtop cars they're usually based upon. This is no exception. It's Vauxhall's new Tigra, and it's loosely based upon one of the most drab cars in the world, the Vauxhall Corsa. But the Tigra looks terrific. Whether the roof's down or brrr, roof up. Like Peugeot's very popular 206 coupe convertible, it's got one of those clever folding hardtop roofs that's perfect for bracing autumnal evenings like this one. And like Peugeot, Vauxhall have even used the same French coach building company to construct their car. This may be bad news, judging by how unreliable some of the early Peugeot roofs were, but hopefully those problems should have been ironed out. Now, I can't guarantee you that, but I can confirm Vauxhall's done their best to make this Tigra fun to drive. The steering is quick, the suspension isn't too squidgy, and when the roof is down, it doesn't lose its rigidity. However, I would be lying if I said that it was as fun to chuck around as a Mini Cooper convertible. But the Tigra promises to be more exclusive than the Mini. Vauxhall are allocating just 5,500 to the UK every year, compared to the Mini's 10,000. But that's not the only reason why it should be taken seriously. Most convertibles in this price bracket tend to look rather girly, but this one manages to be a bit butch. Plus, you've got the fantastic hardtop folding roof, which really does make this feel like a proper coupe throughout all our winter months. Vauxhall's decided not to bother with rear seats, but it does have a class-leading size boot. However, annoyingly, the only way you can get into it from the exterior is by using this button down here. Now, that's not too much of a problem when it comes to opening it, but when you want to shut it and you're in a hurry and it's raining, you have to stand it like a lemon and wait for it to shut. You can't physically push it down. I am too busy for this. In a moment of utter madness, they thought the interior didn't need any work at all. Mmm. Corsa customers may accept this plastic slab of a dash, but in here it lets the side down. This is supposed to be a racy little sports car that costs from just under £14,000 to this range-topping 1.8 Sport at just over £15,000, making the interior the only thing cheap about it. But no matter how poor the interior or how rich the price, compared to its rivals, the Tigra does feel more substantial than Ford's streetcar. It's better looking than Peugeot's 206cc, and there'll be fewer Tigras on the road than Mini Cooper convertibles. So, with those looks, its secure-feeling tin-top roof, big boot and promise of exclusivity, Vauxhall deserve to sell every one.